بینندگان جان عزیز به علی جان شو خوش اومدید امروز در شهر مونترال هستیم هوای بسیار گرمی هست پشت سر من هم تو میبینید تئاتر سن کاترین دوست عزیز من از نیویورک اومده اینجا و امشب شو کمدی داریم منم تو شو اجرا دارم اینترویو باش خواهیم داشت یه خورده از قسمت های شو منم خواهیم دید ببینیم که چجوری میتونیم امشب مردم رو قشنگ سر حال بیاریم پس با ما باشید با شو علی جان این دفعه شو کمدی با علی جان مرسی لبخندم فراموش نشه حالا برم اون بر تو ماشین نایمده Where from? Uh, Russian. Russian. Oh, have you tried the poutine here? <laughs> no, not, not your president for life. I mean, the actual dish here called poutine. Yeah, that's, you've tried it? Okay. Right. <laughs> Welcome to Ali John Show. Thanks, Welcome man. to Thank Montreal. You. Thank you for having me, man. No problem. It's my pleasure. We, we go back a uh, few years. years. <laughs> yeah. Couple, c- couple decades, previous lives too. Couple decades, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're too young. What are you talking about? No, I'm just saying previous lives. You know? Previous like, lives. Yeah. Ooh. So were that. you also a comedian in your previous life? No, I'm pretty sure I was some sort of like cow. Or cow? Yeah. Okay. All right. Maybe I was another cow next to you, and that's how we met. <laughs> exactly. You're probably <laughs> some sort of a horse or something. A horse. Yeah. Okay. So I was uh, basically maintaining the. We're, we the had herd. a very difficult relationship back then. <laughs> okay. Are we doing comedy right now? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm, you're hosting me. I don't know. I'm just. Uh... All right. So. Tell me about yourself. I mean, you were in Montreal at one point, right? Yeah, yeah I lived in Montreal. Mm-hmm. I, um, you know, I, you know, kind of grew up here. But yeah. I was born in Colombia. In Colombia. Yeah. Oh, Colombia. Which city? Which uh, Bogota. Bogota. That's the, the capital. capital. <laughs> La capital. Yeah. As people say. Yeah, the capital. Uh, yeah. Very beautiful city. Mm-hmm. And I moved to North America very uh, when I was very young. Okay. Um, so I had that like third culture stuff, you know, like mm-hmm. if you're like your parents are immigrant, like your mom's an immigrant, like you're trying to like, oh, well, let's let me fit in. Mm-hmm. But I'm like I'm an immigrant, so like I didn't have that. I had two lives, sort of thing, you know, like at home with someone, but then outside of. of okay, of home. you called yourself an immigrant. I didn't say anything. Oh yeah, you no. realize that. I'm right? very proud of being an immigrant. Me too. I'm I'm very proud yeah, yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean we're from different parts of the world, but yeah, we're yeah, both yeah. proud. You have hey, to earn it. Right. 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 The moment they find that I'm Colombian, like Colombians, you guys do a lot of cocaine. That's what you guys do, cocaine. Because I know we actually make it. And then you buy it. That's <laughs> that's how the economy works. Thank you for the clap. That's appreciate that. Comedy is, is a good outlet for for someone that feels left out. Like for me, like you know, growing mm. up, there's always mm. that like, oh, you know, like I I don't see things like how other people view them. Okay. You know, they have a different perspective on a yeah. lot of stuff. What is your perspective, Santi? Well, I think from a I'm very thankful that I that I'm here, that I'm mm-hmm. in North America, that I get the the, the, the privileges of a first world country, mm-hmm. where you don't have to worry about like someone killing you okay. because of whatever. That's something to worry about in Colombia, probably yes. Yes. Uh, I don't know. I just there's a lot of privileges that we take for granted yeah. in, in 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 the developed world, you know. Right. And so I'm very thankful. So my perspective is like I'm I'm I'm, I'm appreciative of everything that I get. I actually got a ticket once for running a red light on a bike. Yeah, the guy pulled me over. Oh, en français, en anglais. And I was like, en anglais. He's like, ah, oh, you should have said français. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, so hard, buddy. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to give you a ticket. And I was like, why are you going to give me a ticket? He's like, because that's a girl's bike. <laughs> you have to appreciate having, like, clean water. Mm-hmm. access to stuff that you know mm-hmm. it's 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 very important for our day-to-day stuff so I'm, I'm a very gracious person mm-hmm. and my comedy comes from being able to communicate my differences to other people that think I'm white and I'm totally not white. okay so you're not white no are you brown I think so <laughs> hey welcome to the club it's interesting because I, I, I I'm I relate to white people, yes. and I, 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 they're all my friends, I love them, mm-hmm. but I also relate to my Colombian, like, you know, Hispanics overall. Okay, yeah. so your comedy is basically centered around you and your experience yeah. as you grew up yeah. in Canada, and having a Colombian States. culture, and the United States. Yeah. Oh, okay, all right, well, you're in the U.S. now. Yeah, I live in, in New York. I live in New York now. Um, do we like New York? The other day I saw this homeless guy, he picked up a live pigeon with his bare hands, put it in his pants, made eye contact with me and said, have a good day, sir, have a good day. We live in a very interesting time, yeah. hence why I'm doing a, a comedy special, yes. um, where, where I'm trying to address how, how we view the, the whole, 
we are not being able to accept uh, in its totality like mm -hmm. differences among people. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to like we're either white or we're immigrant. Like we're uh, what I'm trying to tell people is we're just we're it's global. It's globalization. It's, it's yes. we're all part of the same community. Mm -hmm. So we just have to be uh, open minded and be able to understand that there's differences, but mm -hmm. those differences are not. So Opposed to make us fight with each other, rather understand each other and be able to be more, um, yeah, just just laugh about it, you know. Like, okay, so is that how you're trying to? Uh, uh, is, is is this a message in your comedy? Is that what you're yeah, trying yeah, to? Yeah, yeah, I guess that, that's probably my objective. Yeah. I see. Okay. So why Montreal? Why did you choose Montreal to do this? Uh, live because tennis? this is home. I, I view Montreal as my my my, my headquarters. Um, I'm, I view myself as much as I'm Colombian. I live in the states. I view myself as Canadian. Mm -hmm. Because it's the best, right? <laughs> we're, of course, we 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 are you know we are very open-minded. You know, Canada is a very liberal country. Yes, um, I like the freedom mm -hmm. that, that we're provided in this country, and uh, I think that that's why we have great things like Just for Labs. You know, like people are doing these jokes about like, politics and stuff mm -hmm. at Just for Labs because we are in a liberal country where we are able freedom of speech is valued. It is. You know, you're not being censored. You're not being like. Uh, Treated like oh, if you talk about the, the, the no, you mm -hmm. can talk about anything. It's a freedom of, freedom of speech. You can say whatever. How is it in U.S. Uh, Difference between U.S. and Canada, the comedy scene. The comedy scene. Yeah, I live in New York, so New York is a very it's very liberal too. Mm -hmm. If you go to Florida, it's a little different. If you go to you know Middle America, it's a it's, it's, the comedy scene is a bit it's more restrictive. I would say. You think I'll survive in Middle America? Uh, if people would find you very fascinating because you're a very educated man. Oh, okay. So, so they would want to hate you. They were like, oh, that brown guy. And they're like, but he's so smart. We can't get back at him. Yeah. What are we going to do? And he's like, ah, oh, he designs <laughs> stuff and he's this uh, intellectually. Maybe I, should, maybe I should come down one day. My name is Ali Mohammadi. I'm your host for tonight. And uh, I'm really happy because uh, one day I'm going to become the president of the United States of America. It's going to happen. <laughs> I've always seen you as a role model. <laughs> oh, come on, Santa. You, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean man. it. I mean it. I mean it. <laughs> okay, how much? <laughs> yeah. Give me those $20. $20? Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah. Let's well, not thanks, talk about man. this ever again. Yeah. Yeah. Good. We used to do improv together, if I yeah. recall, many years back. That, oh, that's when awesome. we started. It was, yeah. it was the greatest time ever. Improv is, is what people should be doing in uh, you know, everyday life. Uh, but they're not, are they? No. When you, yes, and someone, you know, if some, someone gives you an offer. Yes. And you're like, hey, let's do something. Yes. And then you're like, no, I just don't do stuff. You remember the uh, the three rules of improv that we used to practice? Yeah, always say yes, yeah. make your partner look good, yeah. and say the first thing that comes, comes in your mind. Yeah. You know, if people said the first thing that came to your mind, we would live in a totally different world. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> someone driving yeah. and saying the first thing that comes to well, mind. In Montreal, maybe you don't want to say the first thing that comes to your mind no, when you're driving. Pretty bad. <laughs> would have a very high homicide yeah, rate. You probably have to say maybe the third or fourth thing that comes to mind. Probably the tenth. The tenth? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Santi, do you have a message uh, for, um, let's say, other comedians who are starting up? Uh, your experience, like what would you tell them? Uh, I, I think that comedy is a very, uh, is a very fascinating industry. Mm -hmm. Do it because you like doing stand-up. Don't think that this is going to pay the bills or this is going to make you a lot of money because mm -hmm. it will not. Mm -hmm. It's a very challenging industry in that regard. It's not a very profitable industry. Mm -hmm. So do it because you want to express yourself and, and because it's fun. You know, it's yeah. a, I always tell people, like, doing comedy is like doing karaoke. But instead of singing, you're just telling horrible jokes. Really? Yeah. So should I be singing tonight or should I tell horrible jokes? Uh, it's totally up to you. Man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it, I, my, my, my two cents for people who are starting comedy is just have fun doing it. Have fun doing it. Have fun, yeah. Well, that's amazing, Santi. Thanks, man. Well, thanks very much uh, for being on the show. Uh, I appreciate it. It was really nice to see you, and I'm sure we're going to have fun on stage tonight. I hope for so. This show. It looks like a good crowd. Um, what are your names? Uh, Georgette. Georgette? Wow, that's a very Victorian name. I like that. Georgette. And you, sir? Uh, Darcy. Darcy. Oh, these are beautiful names. It's like, I'm Ali. <laughs> so is half of Iran. <laughs> yeah, the other half is Reza. <laughs> خب بیننده جانانی از این شو به اتمام رسیده من که خیلی خسته شدم ولی رو هم شاده خیلی لذت بردم امیدوارم شما هم لذت برده باشید با علی جان شو باشید در هفته های آینده شوهای بیشتری خواهیم داشت لبخند فراموش نشه خدافز